Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frankie's already being a fucking bitch. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. like that one because I'm wearing a pink shirt. Holy shit, you're gonna get fucking throttled by the gay media for that one. For what? For making fun of me for wearing pink. What am I? I'm, 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 you call me a bitch? No one mentioned you wearing pink. You just, you just started off calling me a bitch. The only thing different about I said you today. were acting like a bitch because how am I acting? How am I acting like a bitch? Because you were impersonating me before we even started the episode. Yeah, well, because you don't realize you like you like fucking like. Your posture, like you, you look like one of those fucking worms from Men in Black. You like fucking lean forward, and you're like, that looks like that looks like that's the look worm. Like, that looks like you. That's no. how you start the shows. No, well, yes, you do. It's not true. And you're like, it's hearsay. You, you'll say something wild and based right before. Is that based? I, did I get it right? You think you could just, you have a haircut and now you could <laughs> just say based? <laughs> did I get it right? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then like like nuts right before we record. Yeah. And then you start recording and you don't expect me to react to it. I like a haircut. Thank you. I appreciate it. You want to know something real funny? Mm -hmm. Cuz I asked to do the same mustache and beard thing that you did and they just didn't. <laughs> well, you could do it. I know, but I can't. Like I'm Oh, not... you we were going to have match. I was going I wanted to match you cuz I really <laughs> like yours. <laughs> So are we going to be mustache, the mustache yard, basement yard? Uh, well, well the, yeah. The base stash yard. Don't make it worse. You, you should have you stuck with that one yeah. that you had. Uh, but they, they just, I guess mine is not as good as yours. Why didn't they, they just were like, nah. I guess he did it once and I was like, oh, shorter. And he did it and it looked exactly the same. And I didn't want to be sitting in that fucking chair for another 10 minutes. So I was just like, all right. You know, like fucking, it's fine. Do you, are you like pretty vocal when you get a haircut? Oh, you would hate me. Really? You don't shut up? You all, no, I'm no, not no, saying no, like no, talking. No, no, I'm no, saying no. like, no, I'll, I, I keep my mouth shut. Yeah, Unless I, they I, talk to me. No, but no, no, I'm saying like, if he starts to fuck your shit up, are you going to say something or you're going to go, oh, it looks good. Well, I, I have to be honest. I'm not a fucking haircut connoisseur like you. I don't know. Like, huh? I, I don't go in and I'm like, this is what I want. I, I'm the worst type of person to get a haircut because I'm like, I don't know. Just like take, do this. Do a little that. Oh, so you're just like, oh, take some off the top, yeah. short on the side. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, listen, this is how I like to style my hair. Go for it. Go nuts. And yeah. they're like, and then literally, he'll be like, all right, uh, the back, do you want it straight or rounded? And I'm like, ah, I don't care. Straight or rounded? Back here. You know, like down by like. Yeah, but rounded. Yeah, they like round it or they go straight. Oh. And I'm like, I don't care. You know? I don't, I don't care. It's hair. It's going to grow back for me in a week. And I just, I hate, I hate haircuts. I don't really say, I mean, I've got, been going to the same barber for a while. So I just, he just cuts my hair. Yes. He knows like yeah. what you get, which is a prank. And, <laughs> but like me, I, you would hate me. Cause I go in and I'm just like, ah, They'll be like, do you want fucking... And all these haircut terms. But you're not like, yo, a number two on the sides. Uh, sometimes I'll... Like, when I was a kid, when we were kids... Just buzz my head. When we were kids, I'd go, yo, two all around. Shape me up. Yeah. And the butchers would be fucking pumped because they'd be like, oh, that's the easiest haircut to give a kid. Yeah. You know? You know, one time I went to the barbershop and he's like, do you mind if my son tries it? I go, yeah, I would mind that. Yeah? Yeah. I was like, no, I don't want him to cut my hair. Oh, I should have fucking taken a page out of your book. I went once and they were like... Hey, he's training. Do you mind if he does your hair? And I was like, no, nah, it's it's fine. You know, because again, no. I don't care. Yo, I kid you not. Um, this haircut took like 40 minutes, maybe. It took this guy two hours to cut my hair. Two hours? And bro, and people were coming in and they were like, oh, good job, man. You got this. Whoa, nice. Oh, do this. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm, I'm like. I'm a, a person. I'm a little like when they would put lipstick on monkeys. And yeah. like to see how they look. That's what I was. I was a lipstick monkey. I mean, I don't really get, I'm not really getting this reference that you're making, to be honest with you. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't remember that when they would try like makeup on fucking animals for so long and they, they would always have like a, you never heard of this saying like a test monkey. I, I have, but I've never seen lipstick on a monkey. Bro, they were putting lipsticks on monkeys. They were putting blush on them and shit like that. The fuck? Yeah, man. That's why I, I didn't know that's what they meant by testing it on monkeys, that they would actually put makeup on them. Yeah. To do what? To see if it looked nice? Yeah. Or if it would like fucking like fuck up their like, skin? if it would like burn their skin and shit like that. I, I honestly didn't wild even stuff, consider man. that. Yeah, no, no, it's wild stuff. So, so when they try like shampoos, they like give a monkey a bath. They'd be like, oh, come here. We got this new fucking garnia fructis. The first person I could think of. So I'm going to use them. Uh, and then they would fucking like 
do it and then like if they're like skin like got irritated or something they'd be like oh this isn't good shampoo i, I honestly I don't, I don't like when i hear animal tested like obviously that's a thing and you're like oh that's bad but like i never even considered that they would put like lipstick on a monkey and that was like that's what they did that's why yeah. they say like we're not doing that no more have you ever uh eaten shampoo probably it looks the conditioner looks way more tasty conditioner looks like fucking jizz oh so i don't know if anything shampoo looks like jizz what it's cr- no wait, wait a sec <laughs> frankie so, Sham- shampoo i mean sometimes it is like you sometimes know, it's cloudy but for the most part it's it's more see-through you're right you are it's translucent and is what you're looking for conditioner is 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 could be it, it could it could it could uh, technically i have and you said it looks better to eat more appetizing it does look it looks like it, honestly it looks like a uh, crème. Uh, yeah like a crème, a crème you, yeah exactly i had an apple strudel last night oh bitch i don't like cooked apples but no, good for you I, I don't either but bro you strudled it up it was fucking stupid it pissed me off. Yeah, the apple strudel almost made me shit my pants. Well, it was, dude, and they give well, you this that, that mount. No, 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 no. in a good your, way. In that's a good way. because like, of your IBS. No, no, no. It was like a celebratory. Like I could shit right now. That's oh, how happy I am. Is that how? Is that what you do when you're happy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just full dump your pants. But sometimes you're proud of your poops. Never. <laughs> Not once. I've never ever. Dude, this morning. Coolest poop. Really? Just a just a baseball bat of shit. One <laughs> one one piece. Oh, you're not helping your your cause here by saying you don't talk about your poop often. Whatever. Yeah. But anyway, this thing came with a mountain of of uh, cram. Oh, like a like a you know. <sighs> All right. You know what movie makes Inglorious wh- Bastards? Yes. Yes! I knew you were gonna say Bro, that. Bro, I wanted that fucking cream all in, like, oh, it looks like, so ah, good. Ah, ah, wait for the crumb. And, and, like, and then you fucking Nazi, scoop but... it with a fork. I'm mean, not a fork, with a spoon. Yeah. He like, fucking <sighs> whapped it. Yeah. I've always tried to whap cream onto my stuff. He's like, what? Your food, Joey. I know. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> uh, but I was like, I was like, this guy is a fucking Nazi, but he's got a point. Wait well, for the well, cream. Well, a point about what? Wait for the cream. Oh, oh that point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was hoping you <laughs> no, would specify. No, no, no. He's like, oh, wait for the cream before you're going to eat the strudel. She was just going to eat a dry strudel like an idiot. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Shoshana. Shoshana. And, bro, that cream looks so fucking Mad good. Mad good. Evil bastard. Evil bastard. An evil bastard. And got, he, got what he got. He got what he... Paid for? No, he got what was coming to him. Yeah. I mean, you could say that, but he what he had coming to him was way worse. He's he, just getting scalped. Oh, he didn't kill him? No, I think they just... Because he says like... Oh, I killed his boy. He's like, oh, that's a bingo. And then, you don't remember <laughs> that part? And he's like, oh, we're going to go and I'm just going to like live in the US. Yeah, and like, I think cut your head open. Yeah, the only thing that happened to him is they, they gave him... The swastika. Yeah, on his, on his forehead. Can I ask you a, a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically, I have ingested conditioner because I used to use it as my fake throw up serum. I've told this story to you a million oh, times. Oh, you put it in there? What I would so do you've eaten it. To, I, I I didn't swallow it, but what I would do is I would put a little in my mouth and I would throw up. And, Just conditioner? Oh, oh, the whole thing. Yeah, because bro, my mom growing up had 500 bottles of shampoo and conditioner in the shower. Crazy. Legitimately hundreds. Mhm. Okay. Maybe not hundreds, but like <laughs> literally a dozen of each. So there's fucking 24 bottles in the shower. Okay. And you remember the basement shower? Not a lot of room in there. None. And what I would do when I was just having fun in the shower, as kids do, I would mix the shampoos and conditioners together to make a mega shampoo and a mega conditioner. I don't think that makes it mega, but go ahead. Well, it made a mega in my head. And when I would shake it up, in the shower, it would come out and it would look kind of like throwy uppy. <laughs> the word, yeah, throwy uppy. It would look throwy uppy. So I was like, it oh. would just look like throw up. Uh, that's it. Let's yeah. talk like adults, maybe. <laughs> I would, I would use it in my throw up serum. So what, what I, what would... was the other one? It was like you put like clam chowder or something. I would, well, I, it would be a, a whatever. Like if we had like pasta the night before, if there was any leftover sauce, I'd throw some of that in there. Yeah, you're a sick bastard. Well, you go upstairs to the Tupperware and be like. Yeah, I'd be like, and I would either spit it out or like put it in a cup and throw it on the ground and pantomime throwing up, you know, wretch. And then my mom would get so mad. How could she not be like, I smell the shampoo? 
Do you think my mom is going to bend over and smell throw up, Joey? No, but you could smell throw up. I could smell... If you throw up in like two doors down, I would be able to smell it. Mm, yeah, but that's if you like... If I told you it was throw up and it just smelled like... It smelled like, it smelled like shit because it was a concoction of stuff just fucking mixed together. Okay. So it, it worked almost all the time. Mm. But I, here's the question I really wanted to ask you. Yeah. Did any of those like shampoo or conditioners ever get you fucking horny as a kid? I've jerked off with shampoo. I'm, not my question. Oh. Like, because I remember those, like, Herbal Essence commercials, and those women were just, like, in the shower, like, basically just getting fucked by shampoo. And the water made me so horny, because it was like, they would get hit with a wave of water. And I'd be like, I like when women are wet. I, well. Like, like, they're, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like. Is that why like, you've always <sighs> told me about waterboarding? <laughs> Imagine. I like to water. I like to women. water. It's my kink. <laughs> my kink is trying to get secrets out of you. Yeah. No. Th- those fucking commercials were like for like Old Spice. There's like a guy with fucking jack muscles, and then the Herbal Essence commercials would be women in the shower just like having orgasms to cleaning their hair. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like, would. Damn, I, dude. Bro, as a kid, I was like, God damn. Yeah, like, dude. I, I want to go, go clean my hair. So then when I went down, da- I remember I went downstairs to shower. And I saw Herbal Essence in the bathroom. I was like, wait a sec. Mom, what the fuck is going on oh, here? I thought she was in there getting horny? I thought my mom was getting horny while got washing her hair. That's kind of crazy. It was. Don't ask okay. me. Uh, what were you going to say? <laughs> I'm not, if you don't want me to ask, I'm what not going to What were you going to say? You really want to know? Yeah. Have you ever confirmed your mom being horny? Bro, I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> I was literally legitimate, but I was like, I can't, I'm not going to ask that. This is a show for God's sakes. Oh yeah. Oh, that's where you draw the line. I think horny my mom. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Your brain is incapable of putting that sentence together, huh? Horny my mom. Horny my mom. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) No, I've, I've never, I've never. Me neither. Wild. Your dad? Just a Playboy magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. And you're like, you know, my dad used to take us on the jet ski and we'd ride at the lake. Take it easy. Okay. And we drive by the beach. You go look at all the balloons. Oh, you told me that. Which once were before. balloons were big fat tits. Big old, big old fat Neptunes. Speaking of big fat tits, uh, apparently aliens are real now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good at segways. You're really. clearly <laughs> not very good at segways. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about this. Are you? Do you believe in aliens? Did you hear my voice just now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. We've spoken openly on this show before. Oh, it's a yes or no. But it's not. It's oh, it not is, a though. yes or no. I will I I I don't have the limited mindset to to believe that we are the only fucking sentient beings on the planet that are capable of free thought. But at the same time, I don't want to imagine that we're not alone. And now I'm kind of being forced to imagine that. Why not? Cuz it's fucking scary, Joey. It, it, it isn't. Nah, it is. But like if they've been here for... With the Roswell thing was how many years ago? Yeah, bro. People are getting fucking abducted, fingered, all that stuff. I don't want any of that. I've never been fingered or abducted. <laughs> you want it? No, I don't want to be well, abducted. Well, you could be. That's what people are saying. It's like all these people that came out and they're like, I got fucking picked up and they put a fucking beam of light in my asshole. <laughs> now we have to believe them because it's like, oh shit, maybe they weren't fucking lying about that whole thing. <laughs> Dude, imagine... <laughs> Imagine that happening to you, like you're no. in your bed and a and you get sucked into a ship and then aliens are fingering your rim. <laughs> That's insane. They're just fiddling inside your colon. That's like the SNL skit where she's like, and then they're just fucking batting around her tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I legitimately, I don't want to think too much about this because I'm I'm starting to have like an existential crisis. Bro, the the universe is vast. Yeah, but also find out the minute after I die. I don't want to know about this because, like, that's too large of a concept. Becca was asking me. She's like, isn't this so cool? And I was like, I don't want to talk about this. And she's like, why? Yeah, I don't think it's cool. But I like, don't want to talk about it. I don't want to realize it. I don't want to, like, when I will comprehend it is when they're knocking on my door and they're like, what's up? We're here. We're aliens. We're aliens. What if they're, like, not cool? What if they're like just like what if they're short? What if they're du- what if they're short? Yeah, like you know how like we hate short people. We like short men. Like they're the society. Easiest, you mean. Society is the easiest gr- group of people to make fun of. Short men. Okay. White men in particular. Short white straight men to really be specific. You want to be more specific. Short white straight American men. Got it. Okay. okay? Cool. Uh, 
from the Jersey Shore. I <laughs> like. What if they come out and they're just like, "Yo, like we're fucking here," but then they're like two foot four. Not cool. If I could like kick it across the room, what if they're like just nerds? Like they're really good at like technology, so they could like make these flying things, whatever. But like want, they're bitches. I don't want that. I want an alien to come out of ship and it's just like, bro. I want it to be hanging down. Fucking 1990 Pamela Anderson, dude. What's yeah. up? They like to get fucked up. And they, like they, yeah, they just come out and they're like, "Yo, you, you, you guys got beer? Try this." This is the dumbest conversation maybe that's ever happened on Earth. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, we're trying to keep them like. What I don't want to happen, I'm talking to them now. By the okay. way, okay, is I don't want them to think that I'm hostile in any way. I don't want them to put a big ship in the sky. I don't want that. We just rewatched Independence Day. Yeah, it's a big. That was a big that's a, ship. There's multiple big ships. I don't like when they're. I don't like that because like I don't want to be scared. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right, and I know you're gonna fucking cut my ass for this. If I was still a single in my twenties, this would have been the coolest fucking news ever. Explain how that. Has Bro, any sort of bearing? As as at that point in my life, I was thinking fucking singularly. It was wake up. How am I gonna fucking make money today? How am I gonna you know go out and get drunk? And then I go home, play video games, w do whatever I wanted to do. Now I have to fucking. I have children. I have a wife. I got a home. Should I need to protect? I liked it when I didn't have to protect anything. Well, get a fucking lightsaber or something now. That'll well, do it. We need space guns. We well, that's the other thing. Is like they're like smiling at us. They're fucking with us. Huh? Because if they could get to us, and we can't get to them, yeah, that's an invasion waiting to happen. But like they, they're just like, oh, we're here. We're friends. Don't poke the bear. I agree. I don't. I would never want to. Like that's what I'm saying. I don't. Wanna, yeah, but don't you're not a well represent. You know, a, a full fledged representation of you know, human man. Do you think aliens are walking around with us? Like, there's like people who like are aliens, but like, like Hillary Clinton or something. Well, you're. I don't think she's an alien. Yeah. I think that she's. I think that with over time, she's looking more and more like one. Well, yeah, that's what happens. That's the natural aging process. But especially her, for some reason. Do you think that anyone that has like died in the past could have been an alien? Andy Warhol. Why? That fucking freak. Freak. Yeah. What do you do? Just painting Campbell soup cans and shit like that. That was a good soup can. Was it? It was a good picture, I guess. Bro, if I saw that at an art exhibit, I'd, I'd go, this is so stupid. Why the fuck would that make you think he's an alien? She's a weirdo. I don't know. I think, like, you look at pictures of, like, fucking the founding fathers look more like aliens than anybody. Doja Cat. <laughs> Why would you even bring that up? I don't know. A possible alien. Now we have to. Now we have to. Here's what it is. Killian Murphy kind of reminds me of an alien. Yeah, a little bit. He absolutely. Just, he's so. Killian Murphy's so tight. He and his he's, skin's so tight. And he's too Irish. And he's like his his jaw is he's, so sharp. Like this is what I imagine. He's just a fucking. It's like a jet engine. It's blowing like, out of his face. I but, like me a pint. But then he has a he has very light eyes he does. and cool hair. He's strikingly good looking. He is, but it's like he's so tight, bro. Like his skin's so tight. Anya Taylor, uh, what's the one? Anya Taylor Joy. On my what? Not <laughs> the actress. Who? What? New who? Mutants. Uh, uh, fucking. You know, Split. She played the voice of Peach. Oh, the, oh, a uh, chest. Chest. Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit. That much. She might be an alien. She's got big eyes. She's, and they're very far apart. I wouldn't say very far, but they're, they're like they're a distance. They're alien looking. I don't know. No? To me, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Killian Murphy had a tail that was poisonous. That could be. That could be. You know what case. I mean? Yeah. Like, it could just, like, come out of the back of his suit, and I'd be like, well, yeah, we, we, we had signs here. We, well, we need a. What? There's got to be a politician that's an alien. I just finished watching, you know, Secret Invasion, so I'm all fucking ready. What the fuck is that? Oh, you don't know what that shit is, baby? Is it about aliens? Uh, yeah. It's also a Marvel show, so it's not that serious. But oh, yeah. yeah, it's about shape-shifting aliens that come and invade the Earth. Mm. But, like, now we're going to sit there as if there wasn't enough civil unrest. Mm. You know? We got fucking our, our president's son is smoking crack doing 180. And fucking <laughs> Mitch McConnell just glitched out on the stand, you know? Like, come on. We don't need this. Bro, smoking crack and doing 180 miles an hour. Bro, we don't need this right now. God. 
I just, I'm scared and I don't want to talk about it. God, that's the coolest thing you could possibly do. Smoke crack. And go 180. Uh, those two things. And take a picture. <laughs> this uh, guy's psycho. This guy, yeah, he's a little, uh, he's a little out there. What makes it even crazier is that How he's is the he son of our around? president. Yeah. How is he Well, no, he around? actually just, he had his uh, plea, plea hearing yesterday, I think. Plea? Plea? Pl- please put him in jail, I think. Well, yeah, this guy's well, dangerous. <laughs> Fuck. I think they were just like, all right, Hunter. <laughs> Don't do it again. He's <laughs> smoking crack in his car. <laughs> Doing 180. I didn't know crack was back. I thought we left it in the 80s. I thought that you said I didn't know crack was bad. I'm like, hmm? No, no, no. I, that I knew. Yeah. I thought we left crack in the 80s. It's, it's making a comeback, apparently. Well, you got to know the right people. The guy in front is what? <laughs> Just going to say that. <laughs> well, I'm assuming you could get crack if you needed some crack. Just like quaaludes aren't a thing, but I'm sure you can get a quaalude. Well, in your fucking circle of, you know, like eyes wide shut weirdos doing fucking sex fingers and stuff. <laughs> I have a circle of sex. Yeah, you and your billionaire buddies that fucking sit there and like swap spit, rainbow kisses. What's a rainbow kiss? You don't know what a rainbow kiss is? No. Joe, you know what a rainbow kiss is. I, do you hear what I just said? <laughs> no, I don't know. You definitely know. What's a rainbow kiss? A rainbow kiss is a sexual act where... Uh, Someone performs a, 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 some form of oral on someone that is in the middle of their menses. That's it? And then they make out after. Where's the rainbow? That just feels like like red. The, well, that's the, the... I thought that was going to be like some piss involved or something, too. A piss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on. Piss. Piss. <laughs> Thank you so much. A rainbow kiss. Yeah, I'm shocked you didn't know that. That's been around since we were kids. No, I didn't. I don't know. I know, like rusty trombone. That's when you rusty like rusty trombone. Is that when you you like suck someone's ass and they got shit on their ass or something? Don't mind me. I'll look it up and confirm right what now. What was the other ones? Oh, dirty Sanchez. That's dirty when... Sanchez. Creamy Ronaldo. What's the creamy? Oh, you you like come you... on someone's face and kick him in the kick face. Kick him in the face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rusty trombone. You know the Michael Jordan where you're standing at the edge of the the bed. And then you jump in the air like Michael Jordan and put your nuts in a mouth. I've heard of that one. I've yeah, heard of that, that one. one. Yeah. Uh, rusty trombone when a guy gets a rim job and a hand job at the same time from one person. Oh, okay. So it's like. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. Is it insensitive to still like when you shoot something at the paper, like the bin, the wastebasket, the garbage, to yell Kobe? Why would that be disrespectful? I don't know. If anything, that's preserving the memory. I would. That's what I would say. It would be fucked up if you were referring to anything dealing with helicopters. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. You know? Just like falling down. No, I, I know. <laughs> you don't have to give examples. <laughs> that was because this is what I'm saying. You is the part. That's oh, that's not, the part that people are yeah, afraid about. So don't create examples. Uh, but you bringing up uh, aliens, I actually I found an article on your favorite website, 4chan. And uh, it, it actually, it says, and I quote, um, hey guys, uh, what's the best way to summon and kill aliens? I have a deep hatred for aliens. I think they're evil, ugly, demonic, and enemies of humanity, and I want to kill one of them and take out my anger on them. Nothing, what the fuck? Nothing will quench my thirst for alien blood. Please help. Okay, this is clearly like a 13-year-old trying to be cool. Uh, so I'm just going to give you some, uh, you know, Oh, some people have answers. Some people have tried to assist right here. And, you know. I love the word summon. Like it's a demon spirit. Well, the, the first comment, one of the first comments here. They're demons. You can just pray and use Christ's name to mess them up and then bless your machete or something. That's the worst advice. I mean, if you just bless anything and use it as a weapon, it'll help destroy all the bad, the bad spirits, right? They're aliens. They're not demons. How do you know? I guess I don't. Um, next one here. Uh, well, not next one. Another one here says, um, uh, use an AK 47 and smart bombs and F 16s. Just use those. Okay, Joey. Okay. I'll go get one. Yeah. Just go, just go get one. Smoke bombs. Smoke. Uh, uh yeah. Smoke bombs. And F 16s. Maybe uh, smart bombs. Actually. Sorry. I said smoke bombs. I yeah. apologize. Wait, what? F 16. Isn't that a, sh- a that's fucking, a ge- that's, a, that's jet. a jet. That's a jet. Yeah. Go get a jet. Just go get one. Uh, next one here. You can't kill aliens. They are immortal beings. They are God. I think an alien wrote that one. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can't kill us. I'll never tell you, you how to kill You shouldn't even try. 
Because uh, it's fine. This one here might actually be the best one. Uh, stick a direct TV antenna up your ass and dial, uh, dial 0048. Then press the power button six times. If you hold it for more than a second, it, uh, it won't work. If it works, you'll have some aliens to kill. Okay. Not... It feels like I probably listened to that one more than anything. Well, because look at the, the graphs here. Aliens sightings, direct TV starting. They've mm-hmm. gone in the same direction. You can't sit there and tell me that those two things aren't related, you know? You can. No, you can't. Um, next one here. Pull down your pants and put your face to the ground, ass up. Then uh, three times say, come hither and probe. I prob- probably would. I got to be honest with you. It'd work for me, not your fucking shitty ass. First of all, I get why you make jokes about my ass, but I, I, where is this coming from? Why do you hate my ass so much? I don't hate your ass, but like, let's agree. Your ass is not like attracting any aliens. It's barely attracting me. Well, I- not, that that- <laughs> <laughs> not, not that that's the we point. We don't know that. Oh, you think you get probed before me? Bro, have you seen my ass? It's sweet. It's juicy. Yeah, but how do you know that's what they want? I think they just want to get. They want to hide the probe in there. They don't want to just put it in there. So, like, if they put a probe in your ass, you'll see the fucking corners of it uh, on your bony ass. What do you think a probe is? No, it it could have sharp edges to it. No, no, no. What is a probe? (laughs) I don't know. Like a suppository, maybe. Uh, What is with the Frankie? Probe isn't probe the verb. No, a probe could be something that you put in something. You think these people are walking around with alien machines in their asses? I don't think that. That's what they're telling us, Joey. It would be easy to just prove that, Frank. They've been probed in no, the ass. No, but you can't find it. That's the point. It right, could be microscopic. One. It could be microscopic. I don't think anyone's claiming this. Frankie, it's the it's the verb. I was probed. They were like checking out what's inside. No, they put. You never saw the episode of South Park where they put a fucking satellite in his oh, asshole. That's what we're going off. That's of. what they're going for, Joey. All right, and here's another one that's a little more detailed. How to summon aliens? Step one: only do this at night at 12 a.m. Step two: draw a red pentagram with a chalk. I'm already no. No, because <laughs> you might summon some other shit. And then write the word UFO in the middle of the pentagram. Then put one black candle over the word UFO. Uh, and then light the candle. Close your eyes and chant this 25 times. Beam me up, aliens. Take me up in your ship. You can also do this with your friends or by yourself. After that, go outside and start stargazing and look up to the sky, and you should be able to see a spaceship coming at you. It sounds pretty foolproof, if you ask me. That just sounds like a, one of those like witch girls in high school. The craft. They were like really into pentagrams. What, and... what was the thing that they would say? Light as the feather, smooth as a board. Who would say that? You don't remember that? No. Yeah, the, you don't remember that thing? Wait, that you know some that, of the witches, like, potions? I, I've, I've, I've heard some witch, some witch words. I've just, Light as a feather, smooth as a board? Flat as a board or something like that. Maybe not smooth. Okay. But, like, you don't remember that movie, The Craft, with, like, Feruza Balk and other people? I don't even know who that is or that. You know who Feruza Balk is. Feruza? Yeah. Nope. She was, uh, she played uh, the girlfriend uh, in Waterboy. She, oh. Yeah. Her name is Feruza Ball. Okay. And the, it was like the thing where they would like hover their hands above someone. And they would go like, light as the feathers, smooth, f- light, flat as a board. And like they're supposed to fucking like levitate or levitate something. Levitate and shit like that. Yeah, I don't know about that because. Look at you. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> anyway, we do have some sponsors for today. The first one being <gasps> Liquid IV. Liquid IV is great. I have Liquid IV in my house. And uh, we have, uh, I have bags of it, and it is amazing. I just had one. I actually didn't have one this morning, but I had one yesterday morning, and it was the strawberry one. It's my favorite flavor. Uh, and then next is probably, honestly, I've been feeling the grape, the Concord grape lately. It's incredible. Uh, but Liquid IV, it's one, it's like little stick pouches. It's, it's a powder. You put it in 16 ounces of water. Uh, it hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Um, and you get all the necessary vitamins uh, that you need. I think that, I believe there's like five different vitamins that you're going to get. Uh, has three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Um, no artificial sweeteners, zero sugar. Um, so yeah, it's great. Uh, non-GMO and free from gluten as well. Um, 
And also, they're a great company. They've donated over 39 million servings in 50-plus countries around the world. So you can go get some Liquid IV. Go get your hands on it. Uh, real people, real flavor, real hydrating, and it's now sugar-free. Uh, grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. Um yeah, so go get it, folks. Uh, next here, we have HelloFresh. HelloFresh, love HelloFresh. It's an awesome way to cook. Um, it just shows up at my door. I unpack the entire thing. There's a nice little recipe, and then you make it. You just follow the step-by-step -step things. Everything's pre-portioned, so you just toss it all in, and uh, you got great meals. And uh, it's affordable too it's more affordable than going to even going to the grocery store way more affordable than eating out or ordering food to your apartment with all the delivery fees or whatever the hell the tax and this and that um so yeah it's about 25 percent cheaper than takeout um but it's amazing and also they have great recipes to kind of choose from you go on their site and you choose the recipes um and it's not just like you know random stuff there's a lot to choose from uh they have family friendly to fit and wholesome um, they have a bunch of different recipes, so go check them out. It's awesome. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Basement and use the code 50Basement for 50% off plus free shipping. Okay, so again, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Basement and use the code 50Basement for 50% off plus free shipping. Okay, go, go get some HelloFresh in your life, folks. And you know what you can throw on while HelloFresh is cooking up in the background, baby? A Patreon exclusive episode of the Basement Yard. Bam, bam, bam. Wham. Basement Yard. That's where <laughs> my brain is not. <laughs> man, my brain is not computing today. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Uh, guys, we tell you about it every single week. And we really appreciate all the love and support. Your love, your support have actually put us at number eight of all Patreon podcasts in the world. So we are absolutely so grateful and thankful for everyone that has gotten us here, but we want to keep going in the right direction, baby. That number one spot, we can get there if we just band together and hold hands and a little bit of hard work. But listen, I don't want to tell you why you should do it. I want to show you how you should do it. Go to patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up. That first tier, well, these weekly episodes, you get them one week in advance. And then that second tier, oh, man. Oh, man. That's where you get exclusive episodes every single Friday that are absolutely out of fucking control. Uh, for example, uh, Joe and I discussed fan fiction that was written about us, and we had to stop in the middle because it was absolutely insane. So you don't take my word for it. Go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you guys so much for getting us over 24,000. Hopefully we keep going into 25 and then 26 and then 100 million. So <laughs> you never know. One in six people might be Basement Yard patrons or one in 600. I don't know. I don't know how numbers work. Uh, but uh, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Thanks again, folks, and uh, go check it out. Um, also, there was a story about this girl who... We're done with aliens. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with aliens. You're done with them. Yeah, I'm done well, with They're aliens. not done with us. Well, no, they've just begun. This is terrifying. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm having, like, a legitimate issue with it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I tried to move forward. I know, I know. I'm just letting you know. Stop asking me to talk about it. No one's doing that. D you were the one that brought it up. Mm -hmm. You were the one that kept it going on. Nope. Just move on, Joey. Okay. You sure? Yes, go. You want to tell me about how you don't want to talk about I it? I just don't want to talk about it. Do you Dude. understand why I don't want to talk about it? Because you're It's scared. scary, Joey. Yeah, no, you said that earlier. It's scary. Yes. What if they are, what if they, like, do you trust the fucking people of this world to just be like, oh. I guess we're going to talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, do you trust the people of this world to not want to fucking, like, nuke these bastards? No, I exactly. Think... That's scary. We need space guns, Frank. What, uh, Joey, to fight aliens, you can't shoot regular we need, guns say, at say aliens. We get, say we get like a space you car. You need blasters. Say we get a space musket. They're coming out with space Gatling guns and shit like that. We can create them. Can we? Yeah. Can we? I don't know. Clearly, they are more advanced than us. Yeah, but maybe they're dweebs. <sighs> that would be kind of cool if they were just like little nerds, and we just came here and we just gave them all like collective wedgies and nuggies. Maybe they give sick head. Go on. That's my whole thought. That's all you care about. Not that all. I'm just saying. Imagine. Oh, you having sex with an alien? Seriously. Jokes aside. Like, podcast. Shut the cameras off. Me, Frankie, Joey here. Alien knocks on the door. And they're like, in their alien language. I'll translate because I don't know what they speak. There's like, I, like, come on. Enter me. 
Yeah. You doing it? For science? Is it raining? How does that have anything to do with it? Rain is kind of romantic. Okay. Sure. Thunder, though? <laughs> Why are you... Are you trying... I'll set the scene. Close your eyes. It's a dark, stormy night. You've ruined it. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? No, I... I so it's dark. You're in, a, your, you're in your apartment. Shut up. No, no, no. I'm I... Not, hold on. I think... <laughs> it's dark, stormy. <laughs> no. I... The real answer is, if they eventually make it here and then they just become a part of society and whatever and people start doing stuff yeah and like, we do so well with the multiple fucking races and genders that we have on our planet it takes time but eventually you know people start to <laughs> yeah oh yeah they're gonna come down and it's gonna be like oh wait i'm i'm a trans alien you guys aren't cool with that fucking all right and a trillion trillion you're gonna have trillions come down here and then just like fucking up and leave because they see what some people like you treat them the short answer is probably Probably haven't said But that. I wouldn't Not the first one Who knocks on my door Alright But you need to see one In order to see the rest of them To like understand Like you get like An example of an ugly one And a hot one Yeah So you have an idea As to how to like Kind of pick Yeah You know They don't have hair though Okay And they're kind of A little slimy Nice Really Well But not like cool slimy What's bad slimy Like uh Oh like just their hands Like you Remember the oh, remember, no, That wouldn't be too bad Remember the, <laughs> Remember the dog Beast in uh, Sandlot? I do. Oh, drooly. Drooling. They're drooly? It's just like, they're just like out of their pores, just like dripping. Oh. You kind of like that, don't you? I mean, it's kind of like if you if you and your partner were all oiled up. And what, what if they say like, we have six vaginas? Jeez. Yeah? You got your work cut out for your six <laughs> vaginas. <laughs> like, like six homes in a house. You don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I'd be like Goldilocks. I'd be like, this one's too hard. <laughs> this one's too soft. <laughs> this one's too slight. Or they have like a, like, it's like a sleep number bed, but for a vagina. Yeah. Where it's just like, you can like turn up and down the moisture, the fucking tightness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That'd be fucking crazy. Hold on. Wait, we might've just stumbled upon something. Yeah. They're called fleshlights, what you're describing. Oh, right? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? But like, you can like adjust it. Like it's a dial. Aliens probably have wild pussy. You know? I don't know. Like, they probably got some, like, imagine an extraterrestrial. It's got to survive in space. That's a pussy in space. Listen, I'll be way cooler with aliens if their dicks are just way smaller than ours. If, if there's an alien that comes down here and just has, like, an absolute fucking kabutops, yeah. I'm going to be so upset. Kabuta. You know what I'm saying? I do. And also, I felt really good the other day. I don't know if I told you this, but when I went to the zoo, I saw the gorillas have small ding dongs. Yeah, we spoke about that. And this. I was like, this is. This That's what you get, honestly. Nice. Yeah, give, you give and take. Yeah. Where, the, whoever the maker is, give and take. But the, All the strength, really cool name, Silverback. Smallest dicks on the planet. Yeah, I don't know the planet, but like, um, yeah, no. Nah, I think that, like, if a vagina. No, no. If an alien had six vaginas, that'd be kind of cool. What are you doing with you? You barely know what to do with one. I'll probably try to go like this. Yeah, Get you would. You, you would, right? You it's barely like... know what to do with one. <laughs> oh, dude, you're so sick. <laughs> it's like those pens that we had as kids where it was like, click this for black, red, blue, green, you know. Yeah. And then it's like you you always try to put all of them down at the same time. First of all, yeah, I would. And then I would draw like a stupid little circle yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's exactly what you would do with it. Anyway, All right, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this. I've, I've been getting that. <laughs> I don't. It's scary, Joey. Shut up! You're gonna recycle the conversation. I'm not recycling anything. But tell me, you're not gonna have a like? Isn't that freaky to talking think, about it? Isn't it not freaky to think that like tomorrow you could be gone because they're just like they're gonna come and just be like, oh, you guys are stupid idiots. Scary. Sure. And what if we're getting like the Trump of aliens? We're not getting like the fucking like who's like rad. Like Stephen Colbert. Hunter Biden. <laughs> Smoking crack. <laughs> Smoking an alien crack and up. doing 180. Alien shows up with like, just like cooking a spoon and they're just like, fucking, let's do this. So you guys are pussies with this guy. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> what a maniac that guy is. Um, no. <laughs> All right, move on, Joey. I'm going to. There was a video I saw on TikTok. Don't you dare. I know, I'm not I know, doing anything. I can I'm not... see it in your throat that you want to talk about you the You can't aliens. see anything in my throat. There's been nothing in my throat. Okay. Um, there was a video on TikTok of a girl who, like, went 
into her bathroom and filmed her toilet, and there was a full five foot snake in it. No! And she took a big fat piss on its face. Oh, first and didn't of all, even realize. Power move. Second of all, peeing on a snake is wild. Dude, I wouldn't put anything. I guess it's different. Like I wouldn't put a penis in front of a snake because that's that's fucking that's an appetizer for him. It's a dangling little like it's a little angle. yeah yeah you know well we would that. know uh, what like we would know if it's if it was in the toilet. You always look in the toilet when you pee. What am I gonna look up? <laughs> I, don't, I sometimes I close my eyes. Close your eyes if it's really if it's like in the middle of the night. I don't want to be fully awake. When you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you close your eyes and take yes. this? Yeah. How do you know you're hitting the toilet? Okay, but that takes, like... Do <laughs> you think I'm not a pro pisser? No, I've been what, doing it for 30 years. What I think is that your bathroom's covered in piss because you're in the middle of the night, you're closing no, your eyes. Oh, Joey. I, I, you can hear the difference between fucking urine hitting porcelain, water, and then... The floor. Plastic or the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I, tell you one time. Oh, here it is. <laughs> but I, I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and I must have been just delirious. And I started, and it was dark. I didn't turn the lights on because I was like, I don't want to be like, ugh. So I started peeing, and I'm like, that sounds like a drum. I was pissing on a closed toilet seat. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, blah, 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 blah. I was like, Ugh. and now it's like fucking I mean, it's 4 a.m. It's just pee. Yeah, but I'm sitting there clean. Oh, what I did too, I'm an idiot. Yeah. So I needed to finish my piss. Yeah. So I lifted the seat, and then all the piss just slid. Slid back on the back. <laughs> back yeah, in yeah, the yeah. seat. So I had to clean my whole bathroom at fucking 4 a.m. Well, what are you going to do? Maybe if you had just checked. And well, then closed your eyes. Well, now if I'm like really tired and I'm going to, I know I'm not going to turn the. You sit down. Yeah, if I'm not going to turn the lights yeah. on, I'll sit down. You got to sit down and pee every now yeah, and then. Yeah, that's just a slam dunk. It pee. used to be such like an offensive like thing men would say to each other, like, oh, Frankie sits when he pees. Yeah. You're complimenting me for being logical now. Yeah, because like standing up and pissing is kind of like the three point shot and you can get really good at that. But like. Sitting is just a slam dunking. But it's piss. also such a man way to pee, like such a like reckless and stupid and dumb way to pee. Like I, don't, I, I think that's agree. Like okay, relax. No, I think it is. It's like oh, you can either sit and contain all the pee in the bowl, or you can stand and just fucking try your best. I like to stand and create a froth. I do like I I like to set an imaginary line in the toilet bowl and pee to see if I can get it there. Oh, like fill it up there. Oh, that's not what I mean. I but what I do is like I start peeing, right? And then once it's like a bubbly pee, then I start going back and forth, and I'm like, I can't let these bubbles get past. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I can't let the bubbles yeah, get past. Yeah, you're like fucking like point. hold. You're like holding the door. Holding the bud, the buttons. What am I saying? Holding the the bubbles. Like I was like, I'm, I gotta pee and like make sure they stay over there. I'm an but, idiot. But also like frothy pee sounds cooler to pee in. You know, like it's like, like shrum. What? You know, like when you're peeing in like frothy water, it's like. I feel like we pee differently. What do you pee like? Not like a, a spaceship taking <laughs> off. I think it's. I think it still works. Hmm. Yeah. No. Uh, do you do, have you held a snake before in your life? <laughs> I've held a twenty foot anaconda every night. No. No, I have not. Okay. Have I? Let's get a snake in here. You're not about it? They're da- So, is it dangerous to hold an anaconda? Like, is Britney Spears in... Well... Careful. <laughs> Careful there, Joey. Well, you know when she held the snake? Yeah. No, I think, like, it's all right if they're, like, if you're nice to them and stuff. But the moment, like, I've seen people hold snakes and they start to, like, wrap around them. And no. I was like, oh, you got to kill it now. Yeah, like... Take a knife to this thing. And it can't be too hard to kill a snake. Their whole body is like their throat, right? Just fucking strangle it. You think you can kill a snake by just squeezing the middle of its body? I would think so. Oh, no. I can kill you by squeezing the middle of your body. I can't kill a snake. Am I a snake? No, that's my point, though. It'd be harder to kill man than snake. No, that you can't kill them like that. Mm. You're just going to squeeze like the tail of a snake and it's going to die? Not the tail. That's the fucking business end. I want the front or the middle. Yeah, if you grab them by their fucking, like, they're right there by their yeah. face. Do you hate when people grab snakes by here and they're like fucking, like, it's like, and then they start like milking them and shit like that? Milking? Them? Yeah, for their venom. Oh, oh, ew. I hate that. And they're like, it's not hurting them. I swear to God. I, I, you know what's fucking scary when people like, they <laughs> milk a snake? 
for their venom, and then they put the drops of venom in like a petri dish of blood, and then it just becomes a rock. It becomes just gelatinous death. That is fucking insane. Yeah, we're we're all gonna die. I love. What are you going? The what aliens. are you doing? The aliens. Oh, you're back to you don't want to talk sorry, about that. I don't, I don't but you like, can't get over it. How do I not? How do I not talk about that? I hope you get probed. Joey, I have kids. I have a family. You live. You just get fingered by an alien. It'd be a cool story for the podcast, selfishly. <laughs> so, <laughs> you get probed. I don't have the facilities. There it is. I, so you admit I have a nicer ass for probing. A looser ass. Excuse you? <laughs> what do you think has happened to my ass? You, I think because of You've science, been fingered more than I have. I have let's, let's just go by the numbers. For medical reasons. That's more than my fingers. By doctors. I've, but I've never been fingered. We could, we could, we could fix that real quick. 30,000 patrons? Oh, what, you'd finger me? Just a, just a close-up of your asshole. And, and you going, okay. <laughs> no, I would never do that. Did you, were you breathing in or out when you got fingered? I was it? fucking not breathing at all. I was holding my breath. It was very uncomfortable. I remember the first doctor, he like took his hand out and he was like, not good. Hold I was on. Like, what the fuck? The first doctor? Yeah, I've had a couple. I've had it like, bro, you know, I need to go to the doctor for some butt stuff sometimes. So you've been fingered a bunch. I would say a bunch. Take it easy. Definitely I would say at least three. A gaggle of times. Yeah, it's not, my asshole isn't a goose, Joey. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you know you can't quantify the amount. a murder of time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, a murder of fingers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so only three times. Only three. Yeah, maybe. But, well, maybe. three strikes you're out though. Yeah, yeah or they're in. Again, I'm not playing baseball when I'm in there though. They are. Uh, mm, I don't think it's a game for anybody involved. Trust me. If it is, it certainly ain't a fun one. <laughs> Damn. So piss it on a snake. <laughs> I forgot we were talking about that. I, I could. That's that's a that's a horror movie. I would never piss again. How does how do you sit on a toilet and not look at it for a second? Well, it, I, I I said you know my eyes are staying closed. If I'm tired, in the middle of the but night. But the video was like it looked during the day. Yeah, she might have realized after she stood up and then she looked Dude, down. Also, not for nothing. Even if it's the middle of the night, like this snake is so big that like if I couldn't really tell what it was, I'd be like, did someone take eight <laughs> shits in here? And didn't flush it? Because it's, it's like out of the water. Basically. This is a nightmare. Legitimate nightmare. Because all I'm imagining is that snake coming up and biting. Pussy. Chomping on your fucking or, clitoris. Or for us, on, on balls. Would you rather a snake bite your dick or your balls? Bro, easy question. Balls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah My yeah. balls can take a beating. My t- they have. Your di- well, technically, your dick has taken more beatings than your balls. That's true. Yeah. Way more beatings. Way- <laughs> How many today? It's a jerk off joke, Joey. I get it. Okay. I'm hip. Are you? Yeah. Was that based? You're done. <laughs> uh, all right. We have more <laughs> sponsors for today. Uh, the, uh, we have Rocket Money here. Rocket Money is awesome. Uh, it is an all in one personal finance app that's going to help you save money, cancel your unwanted subscriptions, and it monitors your spending and it can help you lower some bills. So it puts some money back in your pocket. And you can do it all in one place. Um, but I've used Rocket Money before, and I actually had – this actually happened in my group chat. One of my friends was like, oh, I used Rocket Money, and I found out that I was like, whatever. I don't know. He was like – he had a bunch of subscriptions. He's like, it's crazy how many things I was paying for that I wasn't using. And I was like, did you use our code? And he's like, what? I didn't even know that you had a code. I was like, what the hell? So people out there are using Rocket Money. Um, you know, On average, people are saving up to $720 a year. That's not uh, – that's crazy. The average person up to $720 a year on these things. So a lot of people out here, uh, you know, like myself, you know, you use rocket money and you find out why the hell am I still paying for this? I was paying for like the New York times app or something. I don't even remember. Or like business insider or something. I was like, I don't even, I'm not even using this. So I, I had to cancel those with rocket money. So it was good. Um, like I said, it also monitors your spending. You put in a budget so that, you know, um, you know, you're not going over what you want to spend in that month um, and can help you lower bills. You literally upload photos of your bills and if they can help you lower it, they will. So it's a great uh, little app. So stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That's rocketmoney.com slash basement. Like I said, on average, people, uh, they could save up to $720 a year. 
That's a lot of money that you would rather have in your pocket. Uh, Rocketmoney.com slash basement. Go get it, folks. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, There is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have Squarespace. Squarespace uh, it is a platform you can use to build your website. So if you want to promote, you know, if you have products, you have an e-commerce uh, business, or you create content, uh, whatever it is, and you want to create a site for it, you can do it uh, with Squarespace. And I believe that it's the best platform to use it for. I've used other ones in the past, just not as functional, and it's way harder to build your website. With this, you can literally, in an afternoon, create a beautiful website um, because of the templates that they have. They make it very easy to just swap text in and out, make it your own with pictures and whatnot. But they kind of make it like easy for you know, the regular person like us that aren't coders or know anything about that um, to create a a nice looking website. And uh, yeah, they also have tools that, you know, will help you kind of figure out where traffic is coming from. So it's very helpful. Uh, You can go to squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, the uh, website is squarespace.com slash basement and you will get a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BASEMENT to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain, okay? So there you go, folks. Use some Squarespace if you need it. Um, also, big news for you, bud. Skittles is coming out with a new flavor. Mustard. It's fake. Is that fake? No. There, it's like an exclusive. Like you need to put it in for like to be like a raffle and get it or something like that. Do people like mustard like that? I feel like they don't. Bro, this is the point I was trying to fucking make. They did this. They did this. They did the mustard flavored fucking uh, uh, um, ice cream. It's oh. a. It's a. It's a, clearly mustard realizes they suck. That's why they're doing this. No one likes this. Oh, disgusting. Yeah, I don't think that people are like big mustard people. People are big mustard people. Honey mustard. Disgusting too. No, Joey. No mustard in it, Joey. No. Yeah, but if you ch- if you put other stuff in it, it changes the the thing. You like my mom's ham, right? When the fuck have I had your mom's ham? Christmas, Thanksgiving. I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to your house on Thanksgiving. Christmas, I've been there, but not like to eat. I would show up. You've and never know- had my mom's ham. I don't think I've had your mom's ham. Are Listen, you- I understand that there's mustard in stuff. Becca put it on the ham last year for Thanksgiving. There you go. But like. It fucking sucks. Like, oh yeah, sure. You could put a drop of mustard in the ocean and then I'll still drink ocean water. I probably shouldn't do that, actually. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's probably that's probably. Do you an drink issue. ocean water? I don't actively drink it, like consciously. But sometimes a little gets, in, gets down there. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if you had a fucking room full of beer and you put a, a keg and you put a single drop in a keg and then, like, I'll still drink the beer because it'll be masked. But, like, this whole, like, mustard-flavored thing, clearly, it sucks. They know it sucks. It's a fucking punchline. French is. Whoever, the, whoever makes it's the other French. one. French. Fuck you. Wow. You, you heard it here, folks. Frankie hates France. No, I don't. Okay. No, you said I don't, fuck the French. I didn't say fuck the French. French the brand with their mustard. Okay. Also, who's the other one? Boar's Head. Fuck yeah. you, too. I like your meats. Don't like your fucking sloppy, yellow, disgusting, throw-up shit paste. <laughs> It's gross. I'm not a big mustard guy. And if I get tagged in this one more time, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, everyone's tagging you on that. Oh, right? my God. They're All setting people it to me. send me is like this mustard thing, and then they send me like any time. Because 
it's so corny how all dudes now have this conversation of like, what animal could you kill? And it's like every week, like some podcast is doing that. And so more memes are put out in the world. And then I get tagged in all of them. It's like, I wonder what Frankie would think about this. And it's like, what I think about it is it's stupid. (laughs) Yeah. I hate just like, Oh God, fucking enough with this mustard shit. Top five condiments. Number one, We've spoken about this recently. Barbecue. Barbecue, yeah. yeah. Number hot two. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Specifically, secret handshake, food, coes, everything bagel, hot sauce. Now we're talking, baby. And, then, and regular hot sauce is in there, too. And then ketchup. Ketchup, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. then mayo's in there. And then fucking... No, I'm putting honey mustard in there over mayo. Oh, I'll put literally... I'll put fucking jizz on my sandwiches before I put mustard. That's insane. Ooh, is fig jam a condiment? It's a it's a it's a preservative. I'm horny for the fig right now. Yeah, you are clearly. I have a fig tree. We planted one. What is fig? It's like a like a. Have you never seen it? I, I don't know. Like, it looks like a little green like or a cicada or, or purple bulb. A cicada. One's a bug. One's a fruit. You fucking dummy. I'm saying, are they both brown and like circular? No, they could be. I think there's some. Oh, are, like dates look like dates, cockroaches. Dates, and like, yeah, dates yeah. do. Dates, uh, but. Figs are like they could be either green or like a. It almost looks black, but like it's like a purple. Mm. And you bite open, and then the inside looks looks like a pussy. Looks like a butthole. Oh, you ever see the inside of a like a legit fig? No, I got you right now. Don't look. I'll do it. No, I don't want to just look at your phone. Fig cross section. What? Why? How is that your search? <laughs> fig cross section. You gonna tell me that doesn't look just like a butthole? Oh. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, kind of, kind of butthole. This looks like a weird onion. Yeah, but they're not that big. They're like this big. Ew, dude, figs. This is what I imagine like the walls of a vagina looks like. What have you been? I don't know. This looks like some magic school bus shit. Like she that does. F- like when they go into like the kid's body, and it's just like there's just a little red and white all over. This kind of like feels like a mouth of an alien, like something. I don't like it. Ew, yeah, I don't, I don't like the way that figs look. I will say. It took me a while to get on the fig train, but I've had some, and they're pretty good. I love the jam. Jam is good. Love jam. Uh, they're also fucking very expensive. Like, a thing of, like, five or six figs is, like, ten bucks. You know the difference between jelly and jam? No. You can't jelly your dick in someone's ass. <laughs> You've never heard that joke? No, I haven't. You can't gel your dick up someone's ass. What's the hardest part of a vegetable to eat? Uh, the cock. The wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That was good. <laughs> the wheelchair. I've never heard that one. That's very good. Oh, shit. Should we apologize? I, I'm way? sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I didn't make it up. And that would be the hardest part. So it's not like you're lying. Yeah, anything. technically. It would be very difficult to eat a wheelchair. Technically, yeah. <laughs> How did you just have it at the ready? I, I always, I'm always locked, cocked, and loaded, baby. You ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, fruit jams or preservatives. Number one for me, grape. Grape jelly is the best jelly. Don't say strawberry, Joey. I swear to God, I'll, <laughs> I'll lose my mind. You know what's weird about me? Many things. <laughs> I'm going to get to it. I don't like strawberries. Like, just eating a strawberry? Dude. But I like strawberry shit. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I am right there with you. But then I recently had, like, legit strawberries. What is a legit? Because you go to the store and you get strawberries and they're like this fucking big, or like they're they're no, like the little ones, bro. Like legit strawberries are like this big and they're soft and they are delicious. Yeah. But like you know, Dole or whatever the fucking Sunkist or whatever these strawberry brands are that you get from like a Shoprite or or C Town or whatever, not legit. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you until I had legit strawberries. Yeah, it's so weird. I don't. I don't really like the tip because it's a little tart. I don't like tart. That's how. That's how I am with uh, like bananas. I like bananas. I don't like banana flavored stuff. I'm not like crazy about banana flavored stuff, but but like but like or green apple. I love green apples. 
Green apple fa- flavored like gum. I hate it so much. <laughs> Bananas also are the perfect size because as soon as I finish a banana, I go, if I had one more bite, I would fucking throw up. Really? Yeah. Every time I finish a banana, I go, I barely made it through that banana. No. But the first half of it, I really like. I could have two two two, two tops. I could have bananas. You could eat two bananas in a row? Yeah, I could. If I had literally an extra bite of a banana, I will You would it. throw up? Yeah, I don't really like... I don't know why. I like bananas. Bro, did I ever tell you what I had once? I went to a... a like a restaurant in Middletown, Connecticut. Very random. But they it was a pizza place and they had a dessert pizza and it was Nutella, strawberry, banana, powdered sugar on on a slice of pizza. Good lord. Oh. And it was great. I've had Nutella pizza before. Oh, so fucking good. Nutella's good. Bro. Where where are you on raspberries? Uh they're okay, I guess. Blueberries. I love. I like blueberries a lot. Blackberries. It's uh, yeah. That's just any fruit you don't like. That I don't like. Well, I guess I said strawberries, but I like I like strawberries. I just don't like eating them. Just you don't like a, American strawberries. I don't like eating a strawberry when it's. I'll a get strawberry. you. I'll get. I'll get you a strawberry. Okay, bring me one of these magic strawberries. Bro, legit. I got them from fucking Stu Leonard's in Connecticut. Unbelievable. Mm. Legitimately. I believe you, so they're not that unbelievable. Like I'm, I'm right there. I believe you. Uh, you know what I had and I don't like? Fucking papaya. I don't even know what that is. I used to think that was paper, but that's papyrus. That is papyrus. Yeah. It's like ancient paper. It's ancient paper made from probably like sheep skin. Yeah, dicks like and yeah, stuff like, like that. Yeah, like circumcised shit. Yeah, like sheep. No, bro, papaya is like the big one that has like the black beads in the middle. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Bro, it tastes like a Weird. fucking gross burp. I like to, <laughs> I like to finger stuff like that though. Yeah, I know. That's what's one of the many things wrong with you. Like when stuff has little beads, I want to go. Uh, uh, uh. I I want to like I want to dive in a pool of marbles. Yeah, me too. Right. I'd like to like whenever I see those fucking Mr. Beast videos where it's like we bought four billion Orbeez and they like get in a pool. I'm I like, make fun of him for it, but also I'm kind of like, all right. But I, they need to be lubed up. Well, they're wet. They are Orbeez. Orbeez are wet. Do you not know how Orbeez operate? I've never seen one in the wild. I've seen... You've definitely seen an Orbeez. You've never been to like a fucking doctor's office and there's like, you know, a, a stick of bamboo in a glass thing with Orbeez? No. Yeah. Well, uh, they're little like balls and then they suck up whatever water you put them in. So they're little gel water beads. Oh, I like that. So they're just... That's why the whole like filling a pool with Orbeez, he would dump the dry Orbeez in there, leave them overnight, and then they became Orbeez. Oh, I never finished the video. Yeah, well, I figured that. But I would like to just get in and like... I want to... You know what I want to get? I want to get those Orby... They have the Orby guns now. I want to shoot you with an Orby gun. Okay. Really? Uh, I I, I mean... Okay. Should we get guns? Not real ones. Why not? Because. We should get guns. I don't think you're okay with a gun. What do you mean? I'm a great shot. Yeah, but you're you're wild, dude. I've shot guns a bunch of times. I have too. I'm a better shot than you. Absolutely not. I I'm 100%. I went clay shooting and I put on a fucking performance. I yeah. thought the guy was gonna hire me. Yeah, Joey, you know why clay shooting's fucking easy? No. Head. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Yeah, <laughs> it sprays. I've been downrange and I fucking. Bing! Me too. <laughs> what are you fucking shot? Oh, I can shoot a fucking clay disc out of a sky with a gun that shoots like this. Time out. Way to go, you no. fucking huntsman. I'm going to drag you to upstate and make you shoot clays and then just... <laughs> Joey, you don't realize how good of a shot I... I've, have you ever, you ever shot archery? I've shot... Bro, I was fucking Legolas out there, bitch. I've never shot... I was like, pants! Actually, uh, <laughs> I've shot a, a, a bow and arrow in Dylan's basement once before. Oh, dangerous. Yeah. Quite. I think I put it in the ceiling. Um, I, but when I did shoot guns, I shot a sniper rifle once. Mm-hmm. I've done that. First of all, honestly, not that I like shooting the sniper rifle wasn't hard. Well, you, Joey, Joey, it wasn't that hard. You're not fucking Chris Kyle. I'm not saying that. All right. You're not but shooting saying, a moving target fucking 800 meters away. Yes, but if someone was standing still in their kitchen for a second, a second? If, yeah, if there's were, a lot of things you need to take into account. I would Joey. be following someone if they were like, you know, 400 yards away. That's far. Maybe 100 yards away. <laughs> and, and if you were across the street looking if through I was standing behind at a, a guy. stationary <laughs> fucking giant man. And he stopped in the kitchen for a second to be like, to take a, 
a sip of water, I'd put tomato juice all over the fucking Joey. kitchen. All right. Pink. That's the gun. That, pink. The, and then, the, pff, and then you know, a pink You miss. know what I shot? I went shooting uh, with someone that collects World War II weapons, and they had the M4A1. Hey, man, why are you hanging out with people who are 97 years <laughs> old? I went with my father-in-law, and his friend came, and he collects. Bro, when we went to World War II weekend, he legit bought like... You went to World War II weekend. Yes, I told this story. You went to a, a like a like a street fair. Hey, bro, it was Pearl Harbor. It was in Reading, Pennsylvania. It was in an airfield, and it was World War II weekend. And I walked through a reenactment accidentally. Oh yeah, did you buy anything? I didn't buy anything. Greg actually has some stuff. I think from World War II. Weird. Like he has like a bullet case. Is it like family memorabilia? No, he like went to a, a, sim- a similar thing and like bought stuff. Oh, okay. I, I have no intent. He bought something cool. I was a little freaked out by the guys that were in all Nazi garb, just like they're happy. Yeah. Mm, it's a little bad. I was like, I'd like to audition for the Nazi police. Oh, they didn't audition. They just showed up in the fucking full head, head to toe. Bro, if I never showed you this, I was walking by and I turned my head and there's a fucking no- Nazi Wait, they doc- weren't in the reenactment? No. There's a Nazi That's doctor weird. sitting on a Panzer Shrek. That's a what's that? The tank? Oh. A Panzer? I don't know. Bro, I still, I'll show you pictures after this. I thought you meant in the reenactment. No. Oh, this is dude's just on the street. Just sitting there. Like drinking water being a Nazi? Yes, dude. That's weird. Very, right? I would have probably had to ask. But I shot an M4A1, which is the one that when you shoot and when it reaches the end of the cartridge, it goes. I love that. Oh, it was so cool. And that's why when I was doing shooting the clays, it was awesome because you put the fucking things in and you hit this thing. It's like, shut, shut. Yeah. Oh. Pet, like, pet. It's awesome. Yeah. You're a little too into it. Oh, I'm so into it. Yeah. Oh, well, there, there's the problem. If I make good investments and I'm 50, I'm going to put one of these things in my backyard and just be firing off clays. Just so you know. Yeah. I hope you're going to leave the tri-state area, like the inner city metropolitan area when you mm-hmm. do that, because you can't do that within city limits. Well, yeah, sure. But laws have been broken before. Ah, with guns. How has that worked out? It's not guns. They're blanks. I'm not shooting actual bullets. I'm shooting like a... If it's breaking a fucking clay target, Joey. I could break a clay target with my fucking hand. What do you think ninjas do? They're not clay targets that they're firing in the sky and shooting projectiles at, Joey. Uh, Something needs to exit the fucking rifle or whatever you're shooting in yeah, order to break it. Yeah, it's not blanks. It's just not bullets. Like, if I shot you... They're it, like it would, scatter shots. I know yeah, what it, they it are. It would hurt, but you wouldn't be like, shot. Joey, all right, bring it here. Let me shoot you from this distance. Let me go get it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiot. Don't get in the way of my shot. You're such an idiot. <laughs> and fuck these mustard skittles. Yeah, I forgot we were talking about that. Fuck that. Yeah, but how did we get the guns from mustard skittles? I don't know, but I would like to go clay shooting. You want to do that? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck was that? Jesus. You know what I shot and I felt bad doing it? AR-15. What? I shot the shit out of that. Yeah. No. Too, I, I, I literally, you would have hated me. I shot it. I put it down and I went and I spoke to my brother-in-law and I was like, that is too much power for a person to have in their own hands. Oh, my God, dude. Was, was, Everything with you is just fucking... Jesus. Anyway. I'm we, not gonna, I can't get deal, it, bro. I can't, I can't deal with you today. You probably think Hunter Biden is, like, totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty rad. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Smoking crack! <laughs> Smoking crack going 180. Probably in, fucking a hooker at the same time, honestly. In Vegas. In Vegas. The fucking trifecta of like that. fucking like rad, you know? Yeah, at what point is it like, yo, like, is it just like smoking crack is not cool. At what Driving point? 180 miles an hour is not cool. But those things at the same time. In Vegas, there's got to be a level of like law. Like, <laughs> we, like judges need to like uh, let something happen. Like if something happens, they need to judge like was how rad was it compared to how dangerous it <laughs> so, was? So, yo, you're going to be, like, Hunter Byron should be in jail. We put Hunter Byron in jail, but we also tell him while he's behind bars. That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sentence, 180 days in jail. I want to see you in my chambers. He goes in the back, and he's like, bro, fuck it. <laughs> Bang, that was so fruit sweet. He's like, damn. <laughs> he's just like. By the way, these are jokes, kids. Don't drive 100 miles an hour, 180 miles an hour and don't do crack, obviously. Yeah, or those two things together. Or don't have the president's secrets on your on your devices. <laughs> yeah, or there's, there's some other stuff there with Hunter so Biden. There's some other stuff there we might want to, you know, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't. I will say this. He is tan. 
He's always got a nice tan. Um, that's all for this week's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's oh. all for this week's episode. Frank, the aliens aren't going to let us live after this one. I you thought you didn't right? want to talk about I it. I don't, Joey. I don't want to talk about it. Stop bringing it up. F5 or Z885 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, on all the forms of social media, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Thank you for getting us to 24. We want to keep on chugging, moving in the right direction, baby. And then go check out the basement yard on all socials. Go check out uh, shop.sanagatostudios.com. Go check out uh, uh, Secret Handshake Food Co's, Everything Bagel Hot Sauce. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Oh.